Hello, Matt Davis here, providing help with a question from the review quiz for Chapter 2. Let's have a look at it. The points scored by the winning teams in a sample of 48 games played during the 2007 NFL season are shown below. What is the best choice for a class description for the second bar of the histogram? All right, as always, providing help but not answers. So instead of looking at the second bar, we'll look at the fourth bar. So we're looking at this one right here. That's our fourth bar. So that's the one that we're focusing on. And it has a left boundary of 20. And the right boundary isn't labeled, but it's right in between 20 and 30. So that would be 25. So we have two choices for what we would do there. We could have 20 through less than 25. That's what we would do if the data was continuous. Or we could go 20 through the largest value that's possible in that class if it was discrete. So we go back up and look to see what was our variable on this problem. And it's the points scored by the winning teams. So if it's the points scored by the winning teams, that has to be a whole number in almost any sport, and that's definitely true in football. So what's the largest number of points you could have and still be in the class 20 through less than 25? Well, because it has to be less than 25, that would be 24. No fractions are possible, so you can't have 24.9 or 24.6 or anything like that. And if you go up one further than the 24 to 25, then that's no longer less than 25. That would be 25 is in the next bar. So because we're dealing with discrete data, we would choose the answer 20 through 24. And this one we would only do if it was continuous, but since it's a discrete data set, well, we won't pick that one this time. Okay, so you're doing the exact same work, but instead of doing it for this bar, you'll be doing it for that second bar, but that should help you. So good luck when you go back to the quiz.